all the color and the music and the commotion, the celebration, the balloons, the confetti, the candy that they throw out, the floats, all this. It's, it's quite, a, quite a deal. And most people love a parade. The kids sure do. Parades are a normal part of victory celebration. When, when a team wins the Super Bowl, as will happen sometime here in the next few weeks, uh, when they win the World Series, the NBA championship, college championship, what's one of the first things they do? They have a parade down the streets of the city with all the players out there and all the confetti and all the excitement. I want to tell you, spiritually, I'm confident that there will be a great victory parade down the streets of heaven one day. I, I, I don't find a direct scripture, I haven't thus, thus far, doesn't mean there isn't one there, that says that, but there are many scriptures that speak to a topic, and so when you're, when you're trying to put some thoughts together from a biblical perspective, you can't always go just by a verse that has the actual word in it. You have to find passages that speak to the idea, that have the content, maybe not the word. I think this verse at the top of your bulletin, 2 Corinthians 2.14, Thanks be to God who always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ. If a triumphal procession is not a parade, I don't know what it is. And He always leads us, and if He always leads us in that, here He's going to lead us in that, in the heavenly home. So clearly, and we'll see more of why I believe it, but I believe that there's going to be a great parade, a victory parade in heaven. And actually, I believe that probably there is one every time another saint goes marching in. Every time another soul comes home, there is a great parade. But when I went to my concordance to look up the word parade and run reference on it, most of you probably know what a concordance is, but somebody may not. A concordance is a, a tool in a, in, in, a, in a Bible student's workshop. You've got to have tools to be a carpenter. You've got to have tools to be a mechanic. You've got to have tools to be a Bible student. One of those very important tools is a concordance. Concordance is a, is a volume that has alphabetical listing of words. And, and you've got to have the, the uh, concordance that matches up to the particular Bible version that you have. If you've got a King James Version Bible, and you can think of a, of a, of a verse that's got uh, joy in it, um, you want to look up the word joy, but, you might, but in the King James, you may have a, a, a term that's not current English. So, so if, you're, if, you, if you want to find a verse in the New International Version, which is what version I study with, study out of all the time, then you have to have an NIV concordance. But you'll find all these words in alphabetical listing, so I want to look up parade and see where that is, where that is used in the Bible and how it's used. I go to parade, and then it lists the verses that are there. Now, in the back of some of your Bibles, you have a brief concordance. These big ones that I have are supposed to be exhaustive. That is, they have every list of where that term occurs in Scripture. When I turned to parade in my concordance, uh, there was only a few Scriptures that actually used the term, the actual word, and, and none of them really speak, seem to speak about heaven. But I noticed something that I found to be very meaningful, and I share it with you, and you can take it for what it's worth. Right after parade is the word paradise. And it just struck me that this, the same first five letters are in each word. P-A-R-A-D-E for parade. P-A-R-A-D-I-S-E, parade dice for paradise. I went further and looked into the dictionary and I could not find where the actual literal root of each of those words is the same in its origin. But it struck me that in the makeup of our English term, parade and paradise have the same base word. And I thought about that connection and I thought, man, that's, that's, that's striking, that's interesting. And my mind went on then to think about one of the great places that the, the, the word paradise is used. 
And so just, just ponder it for a moment. Um, most parades involve marching in victory. With that in mind, consider what further implication Jesus was making when He said to the thief on the cross in Luke 23, 43, when He said to the thief, Today you will be with Me in paradise. It seems to me that when He said that, He could equally be saying, My friend, today you will be with Me in the parade celebrating victory over death. Because there's going to be a great parade when we depart this world and enter the next. Now I know that in biblical interpretation, that's, that's stretching it a bit to try to draw that uh, conclusion from these very sketchy um, word associations. But whether there's anything there that's real strong for conclusion, I think the idea of a parade in heaven is a good one. And I choose to believe it, and I'm greatly comforted by it and encouraged. The second term that comes out of this statement from Churchill is, is the place. They will have a place. The non-military people who didn't go out and actually fight will have a place in this place of honor, in this parade, because they supported the war effort. Although you don't normally expect to see non-military people, non-military dressed people in a parade celebrating a military victory, Churchill was saying this time you will see that because the coal miners had such an important part. They were equal with the military people in securing this victory. <coughs> Well, I want to tell you that that whole point certainly applies to the spiritual realm. The ultimate war, the one with the most at stake, is still raging all around us. It's the war between the forces of Christ and the forces of evil, battling for the souls of people. That battle has never been more intense especially in this day as it approaches its climactic stages. Now here's the question. Will there be a place for you in the great victory parade of King Jesus? On that note, our message today